Sorry. Can we run Devin's disclaimer? He'll never know we stole it. Sometimes there's something I would rather be than royalty. Just my two dads and me. Sit up, there's. Alright, before y'all collectively lose your minds in the comment section, it says climate change. Alright, you're welcome. It's from Mark Dice. So now our cartoons for infants are being overrun by trying to sell the ideas of <sighs> LGBTPPWTFBBQPLUS plus plus to children, and also teens and men in their 50s, with beards, rainbow hair, dresses, fairy wings, and fantasizing about getting microphone, microphone servicing from toddlers. <laughs> Claiming they're not just women, but girls. There's a lot of people worried about their safety because I identify as a six-year-old. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter. Are you serious? And going into girls' elementary school bathrooms. And when one of them gets enriched with toddlers. The media has no idea who done it. Cause you know, they wouldn't want to be. <laughs> Would they? And now, these neon pastelite age regressing men are the same people you see in Roblox with lesbian cat gender in their bios. And asking to online date you in a lesbian relationship. Don't blame your kids if they turn out rainbowy. Blame the ones behind it all. Larry Fink and the Finks. Sounds like a band name. One I'd never ever listen to. Like imagine like they're just playing music and they have like a bunch of like uh, kids holding pride flags in the background and like drag queens holding kids like the, the, if they had a band, like, that, that's what their music videos would be all the time. And then, like, the, the song would be like, Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Yeah. F*** that. <sighs> Guess what? Blue's Clues. Hey, Blue, look at all these families! Blue's Clues. The show that used to be about, like, you know, uh, like, uh, uh, Steve, Kevin, Joe, Josh, uh, whichever one you had, I had Kevin. Uh, they, uh, one of them lost the toy, and then Blue would be all, you know, coy about it and, and, and play a game with them, uh, and just spending, like, half an hour to find it until, you know, they find, like, the teddy bear or whatever. They're like, hey, Blue, do you know where my teddy bear is? Hello, Mrs. Pepper, young Paprika. What seems to be the problem? Paprika does not know where her teddy bear is. She wants it for her nap. Just a moment. That's what it was about. Or, you know, they, they had these little books. This is for my childhood, you know, Blue's Cool Idea. There's a rip page. <laughs> but now, can you guess what we have? Chopped off otter titties. Chopped off otter titties. Chopped off otter titties. God. And some creepazoid map dressed in a very, actually, appealing to kids colorful dress, if you don't know the satanic meanings behind it, you know. And when I say satanic meanings, I mean the rainbow people flags. Like, he looks like he's coming straight, no, gay, because absolutely nothing can be RuPaul nudity universe. And it's disgusting that you would show this to kids. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. This family has two mommies. They love each other so proudly. And they all go marching in the big parade. Families marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching. 
marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. This family has two daddies. They love each other so proudly. And they all go marching in the big parade. Come on, friends. Man, this is screwed up. Word of the day. Why? It's not representation. They don't need representation. Plus, what preschooler is going to see themselves represented in this? Roll the damn clip. Families marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. These papas are non-binary. They love each other so proudly, and they all go marching in the big parade. These papas are non-binary. They love each other so proudly, they all go marching in to Can somebody give me a definition of babas? It's like, is that another word for dolphins or something? And yeah, you just saw non-binary disabled dolphins. But I guess that makes them transabled. <laughs> yeah, that, no, no, please. And it's not noticeable to some, but there is a little baby dolphin right there with that, uh, not non-binary couple or whatever, whatever, babas. Uh, there's a little baby baba there, uh, implying that you should take your little jimmies and t timmies and mollies to pride. Don't. <laughs> yeah, no. Keep your baby dolphins at home, folks. And you know what, if it's possible, Homeschool your baby dolphins. I had a fun little conversation with my students yesterday. Cause then they don't have to have interactions with like weird neon pastel lights. Actually, that's not true. You know, neighbors exist. Maybe the they'll, they'll like meet someone, but like just keep them away from everything. Isolate them like Elsa. Like put them in a, an ice castle and make them sing "Let It Go" until. Their vocal cords break. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit extreme, but you you got the point. Okay, so you see that trans otter over there? Chopped off otter titties. Your kid's watching that, you walk in, how are you gonna explain that to your kid? You know, l little Jimmy comes up to you, is like, why? What are all these flags and why? Why do that? Does that otter's nipples look like that? What are you gonna tell them? Are you gonna tell them that love is love and that they should they should cut off their little thing too? I don't know. I'm just asking. Double mastectomy. Or just casually showing this little Mary and Becky like yeah you know just sit in front of the TV while I just sit in front of my computer and make money while you watch all this indoctrination top surgery is being done to girls as young as 13 like imagine how painful that must be for a 13 year old just get like your titty and just whoosh, it's gone and you have to live with that for the rest of your life. And in some cases, they even remove the nipples. I don't know why. I don't know what man doesn't have nipples. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this reminds me of this one time. I'm, yes, I'm going to ramble. Uh, these girls were dared to tell boys something about girls that wasn't true. And then they told them that they were able to take off their nipples. And they're like, you didn't know that girls can take off their nipples? Come join the fun! No, drag f I am not going to join the FUD. Don't listen to this groomer. Stay the heck at home and watch shows from companies that haven't been destroyed and co-opted. WEF, more like WTF. And Larry Fink, you can go shave your back now. So, not fetch. If you thought it was over for Blue's Clues, no, 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 no. They thought that the 
dumbassery parade wasn't enough and decided to get some <laughs> music video featuring the one and only Nina West. It's pride, everybody! Every color on the pride flag is a symbol in the sky. Pride! And I'm proud to be me every time that I see that pride flag waving high. Parental warning, don't let your kids look up any of these drag queens on the internet. These dumbass songs get stuck in your head. And it's intentional because you can easily propagandize anything by putting it into a catchy tune. And I mean anything. Like these songs. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked? Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. Nuh-uh-uh, you're not converting my children. I don't have children, but you know what I mean. We'll convert your children, yes we will. Reaching one and all, there's really no escaping it. Cause even grandma likes RuPaul. And the world's getting kinder. Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your fate. We'll convert your children. Ah, uh, yes, I'm gonna hang you by the neck. Sayori listens to this on repeat. I'm gonna hang you by the neck. I'm gonna hang you by the neck. I'm gonna hang you by the neck. Yeah! Yeah! James Brown, I feel good. Uh, living in America. I beat up my wife. Satan's got a brand new bag. And then we got this drag f Uh, talking about all, not talking, well, singing, about all the meanings of the colors of the rainbow and the pride flag. <laughs> They had some really not child friendly meanings. Uh, in the late 60s and 70s, gay men would do this thing called flagging, which was a way to signal the kind of activity they wanted to have. Excuse me, could I ask you about these? What about them? What are they for? Well, like blue, Hank, in your left back pocket means you want to blow <laughs> Right pocket means you give one. The green one left side says you're a hustler, right side you're a buyer. The yellow one left side means you give golden shower, right side you receive. The red one right. means... Red meant... Uh, it hurts me doing that. Orange meant like you were pretty much down for anything, and I mean anything, even like you were effing in the pits of hell which you probably will be soon. Yellow meant, which meant you use your partner like a dog uses a fire hydrant. Green meant, of course, if the guy can pay me, then hell yeah, here I am for him. Dark blue meant you're a, and purple meant you wanted to be tortured by your pierced nipples. Fun, isn't it? All these pretty colors and these pride flags are so appealing, aren't they, kids? Now, how do you feel about the pride flags now that I told you this? Do you still feel the same? Do you still want to have a pride flag in your bio? In your profile picture? With an anime character? still want to ship yaoi? Whoa there, tiger. You doing all right? Didn't think so.
The original Pride flag had eight colors, not six. And that's why I either draw my rainbows with seven colors or nine colors. Because, but either way, you kind of can't escape the rainbow people because they're going to be like, oh, is that a pride flag? Is that a pride flag? Is that a pride flag? No! It's the promise from God. Just leave me alone about it. Intrusive thought. Judges see what bit the dust. You know, she was like the embodiment of rainbows, so you should have known. They also had light blue, which meant you wanted to <laughs> and pink, which meant that you liked to play with they are not ruining my favorite color. They are not ruining pink Tober. They are not ruining Pinkmas. They are not ruining pink Valentine's Day. They are not ruining any of that. And I like baby blue, pink, and white. And if I want to walk around it like in blue, pink, and white, and if people ask me if I'm trans, so be it. I'll just push them into the pits of hell. Because I am a cisgender woman. Actually, no, that's a, that's a stupid term. I am a woman. I'm a real woman. And I don't want no bastards, no men inside of my bathrooms just because they put on a dress and, and maybe a wig and said that they, they're, they're like me. Like, gross. Go away. just perverted, autogynophile, or homosexual, trans transsexual, or whatever you are. Just go away! Get out of my bathroom! You're disgusting! <sighs> go back to watching Jon Stewart. But of course, they want, you know, women in men's bathrooms and men in women's bathrooms, because, you know, love is love, am I right? That love is love thing was made by a really evil guy. Charlie Manson. Anyway, they revised the flag a few times. Ironically, they stopped wearing pink because there was a shortage of pink fabric. Thank God. But then they came with the trans flag. And I'm ashamed to say, it's appealing to kids. Because it looks like cotton candy. What kid doesn't like cotton candy? They might not like sex up but... They, they like cotton candy. And let's not forget how much the p flag looks like cake. Like, looking at it makes me mad. It makes me mad, but it also makes me want cake. And I'm like, am I mad at p files or do I want cake? Maybe I can, like, bake all guts into a cake. But that wouldn't taste very good. Anyways, they reduced the colors to six and made it clean in the color code in case tourists came around San Francisco and wanted to buy the colorful merch. And now your children are out there wearing it or putting it in their profile picture with some anime character or putting uh, neo pronouns in their bios. Oh my god, the xenogender thing. Like, I don't get how cat can be your gender and then they blame it on being like um uh, uh, ne neurodivergent G girl i'm ne neurodivergent i have tourettes and i ain't never uh, thought about doing that in my entire life i mean yeah i want uh, when i was like four i wanted to be a werewolf but we grow out of that <coughs> I am a 27-year-old transgender woman. Um, I am a wolf therian and a member of the furry fandom. When and how did you discover this inner wolfness? Um, probably around age 10 or 11. I was watching an anime about wolves and see the wolf running across the screen and I'm somehow just intrinsically like, oh, that's me. And now there's demon self, cat self, kit self. And Danganronpa self, Monokuma self, Junko self, Monica self, Natsuki self. Three hours later. Gummy bear self, Candy self, Johnny the Walrus self. Actually, no, there is no Johnny the Walrus self. That's just in the book. But not all anime fans are trans. But 
almost all trans people are anime fans. And also, they're like, probably either 12 or 56 years old. Like, there's no in-between. If it's younger than that, if you're raising a baby that's like five years old, it's like raising a vegan cat. It was not their choice. You stuff the propaganda down their throat, even if it, even if they did say that they chose to. Your behavior around this baby influenced them negatively. We actually go and meet with our senators and representatives. After we do that, we go and sit and sell some of Avery's books for a little while. Avery, manners. I just don't want to even have a book. I've done too much in this world. It's ruined my life enough, and now everyone in this world is going to know. If I sell my book, it's going to go on the news by, with, along with me for like the 50th time at this point, and it's just going to make my life worse. A couple years ago, you wanted people to know. Yeah, I, now... I did, but now that was a really stupid, silly mistake, and now I don't. Yeah, that's something. Doesn't it just fill you with pride, showing who you are on the inside? Yeah, I bet you're dying to see us on the inside. You're dying to see the little kids on the inside. Blue means harmony, working together. Purple means spirit, believing you have the power and strength within yourself to do whatever you dream. Maybe blue, pink, and white represent transgender people. And black and brown represent the queer and trans people of color. Why do you need to bring black people into this? What do people of color have to do with this? Are you black sexual? Because, like, there's lots of people with fetish for certain races that I, I don't want to get into that. Doesn't it, just fill you with pride? it does not fill me with pride. It, show, it, it does not fill me with pride. It fills me with shame and, uh... I have no hope for this generation. Then it just fill you with pride. Showing love. Uh, not career kids and stuff. Uh. Gay means happy. No. Gay means you F another guy up there. You are enough. Well, if you're watching queer kids stuff. stuff, you really shouldn't feel like you're enough. You that's probably why you're watching queer kids stuff. There's not that much to say. Everybody's already made fun of this, but I'm bringing it up. Because if you're the kind of parent that lets YouTube autoplay raise your children, they're eventually going to run into this. It's June, Teddy. Yeah, June. What's so special about June, Lindsay? Well, it's LGBTQ plus Pride Month, Teddy. Yeah, it's, it's a very special month because I get a whole entire month to dance around naked in pride parades in front of children. A whole entire month. And while we're wearing rainbow to appeal to the children. Entice them in. We've already learned all about what pride is with a fun new song. Today, I wanted to talk about what makes June such a special month for LGBTQ plus people. I'm really starting to like June. It's a really... Elmo is corrupt now. Actually, Elmo has always been corrupt because his voice actor was accused of... My favorite uncle who does my hair My auntie in TZ make me cheer You're... you're Huna, what now? Titi? Titi? Th th that sounds like- Wait. Oh, that's another word for auntie. Okay, they're, they're gay aunts. Of course they have to be. Yeah. 
because you know the the lesbian moms in the first scene uh, that wasn't enough gotta add more my neighbor jesse they're even more family we found why would you let your child accept cookies from this so you just found this confused individual across the street the sesame street if you will and decided to call him her that thing family i refuse to call them they dang it you know there's so much indoctrination that sometimes it slips out what what is in those love makes a family my family is part of me happy pride if you're a kid and you're on YouTube Kids, you'll probably come across The Moonies. It's one of those cheaply animated shows that they're, they're it's just like blue thing things dancing to popular songs to get kids' attention. Think minions, but blue and gay. Well, even if you wanted to, you can't stop. You really should stop because you're indoctrinating kids. I just want to get this blue thing and The Moonies. Because the minions was taken. And uh, an angel would definitely not hold a pride flag. And they definitely would not coexist with demons. I don't know what to tell you. They're literally dressed like the devil. I mean, they're not wrong. Teaching kids to sin is satanic. They have this irresistible urge to let you know what they're doing. But they hide it underneath these pretty colors that you know kids like do you like looney tunes you don't anymore well don't you look mighty stylish today looney tunes like used to make men wear girl clothes for comedic relief in other words they looked stupid in them if Mel Blanc saw this, he'd be ashamed. Mel Blanc must be spinning in his grave. You know, I already told you they were they they wore girls' clothes. They acted gay. It was stupid. It was funny. Um, for laughs. But now apparently Bugs Bunny has changed his mind. Roll the clip. In fact, you kind of remind me of my favorite fashion icon. You know, handsome guy, cotton tail can wear a dress or a basketball joysy like no bunny's business. <laughs> Wanna know my secret? Twining looks as easy when you wear what makes you happy. And heck, if interesting people can express themselves with interesting outfits, I don't know what this world is coming to. Well, you know what? I agree with you on one thing. I don't know what this world is coming to either because Look at all the indoctrination. So be you. Actually, be you is good advice. And be you means don't cut off your t trying to be a, a, a boy and don't cut off your t trying to be a girl. And remember, old Bugs here has got your back. Oh yes, I'm very, I'm very relieved that a cartoon bunny has my back. No matter what other people say. Now, I gotta hop. It's Pride season, and I'm off to meet Tweety Boyd for lunch. Are you gonna eat Tweety Bird? Catch you later. No, no, I won't catch you later. I will never see you again because I am never, ever watching your show again. Who hurt you, Bugsy Boy? Who hurt you? And why are you talking so much BS? Oh, look, I found a Bugs Bunny fan. You know, Tweety Board, a baby, is part of this too. Because, you know, babies can't be babies anymore. And, and not even the diamonds will come between us. And if they try, we'll beat them up! <laughs> and if they try, we'll beat them up! 
my future used to look like one single obvious stream, unbending till the end of. <laughs> Will. What I mean is, you changed my life, and then I changed your life, and now we change our lives. Saving the universe has always been pure indoctrination. Before I knew that, I thought it was appealing, but then I saw the indoctrination, I was like, no, no. Um, but, you know, I just included it here, because why have indoctrination in your shows unless... Europe. Then by the power vested in me by the state of Delmarva, I now pronounce you Garnet! Well, of course they call it Garnet, because actual biblically accurate marriage is between a man and a woman. Everybody should know that. These women, no, jewels, are just as married as I am an alien dancing the Macarena. Look straight into my eyes, try to tell me that I'm an alien dancing the Macarena, and give me ten! Look, ten good reasons why, and then I might consider them being married. I actually will never consider them being married, but you know, you can always give it a shot. Ew. Oh, hey, Craig. Craig of the Creek. This show is just, it's all, uh, the, the representation, and by representation I mean indoctrination, is almost as bad as Steven Universe. There is so many examples of indoctrination in the show. Like there's, there's been a lesbian couple. I've, I've seen them, them kiss. It was not fan made. But let's do this more subtle one. This non-binary character. I'm here to drop off my sister, Jessica. Hello. Oh well. You're leaving your sister with that. The sadness in her voice when she talks just indicates that she doesn't want to be there. Like, she's just the, like, hello. Like, is that a happy kid? Look in my eyes and tell me that that's a happy kid. Welcome, Jessica. It's so nice to meet you. You're gonna have lots of fun here. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to fill out these forms. I'll need your name, number, pronouns. Name, number, pronouns? She looks a bit too young to have a phone, but groomers love it when kids have phones unsupervised. When they have it supervised with parental controls, they're like, ugh, so annoying. Ugh, so annoying, I can't get into the pants of this child. And she's even more so too young to have goddamn pronouns other than, you know, what she was born as. Uh, any allergies your sibling may have, and your preferred excuse if they get into trouble and need to call your parents. If you can't think of one, I can make one up. I'm very creative. Craig, can you do me a favor and watch the kids for me? I have to get this kid some Calmine lotion. Why do you need lotion? And, and, and their faces are like, like even they're suspicious. Like, why do you need lotion to make your fun time go smoother? Hmm. Stat. Uh, I, I don't know. We were going to- Oh, come on, Craig. You're so good with kids. I mean, look at how uninfected your sister is. You're such a great older brother. Uh-oh. They've unleashed the compliments. You know you're in a cult when they start with the love bombing. And that tension, the blushing, the compliments. Oh, they've unleashed the compliments. Is there some sort of toric? thing going on. Ugh! This is too much stupidity for me. Toric? Did I really just say Toric? Why should a kid my age know what Toric is? And of course, there's a pride flag for it. Cha-ching! Don't know what that means? Ask your eight-year-old who goes to public school. Uh, oh, your eight-year-old doesn't know? You raised them well. It's true. I have kept her alive for a whole 15 minutes. Okay, this is Muppet Babies. I am prepared to be shocked. You okay? Not exactly. I really wish I could wear one of those princess dresses to the ball. Good God. Well, I hate to see a good pal feeling bad. So tell you what, I am gonna grant your wish because I am your very right father. We've been liver worse. I didn't know you were a fairy rat father. There's probably not been a, a fairy rat father in any other episodes, but in this one, he just magically gets 
powers just so that he can grant Gonzo's wish. Wish. Um. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Well, you never ask. Anyway, I'm gonna make sure you have the perfect dress to wear to the ball. But um, the girl said I'm not supposed to wear a dress. That's because you're not supposed to, and the girls are being rational. I don't want everyone to be upset with me. Well, if it makes you feel better, I can make your outfit so amazing, they won't even know it's you. You mean it? All right, then. Let's do it. You got it. Bippity buffity boo -ba. such a splendorific dress and get a load of my glass sneakers thank you fairy rat father gonzarella well guys we have a new disney princess i mean apparently he's a gp and a princess oh and did i mention this is muppet babies babies like i said babies can't be babies anymore and you know what people are saying now people are saying that Babies know that they are trans in the womb. Doesn't that mean that abortion is trans? <laughs> Put your stories together and make them make sense, Soros boys. A princess dress? Really? Like, that looks like something to go on an LOL doll. Since when has Gonzo cared about anything other than raising chickens? The dress is really pretty, you know, it's well designed and all, but give it to Miss Piggy and give Gonzo his overalls back. What's that on his overalls? Like peppers or something? I don't know. G give him his overalls back and teach him to be a man. Be a man with all the strength of a great typhoon. Yeah. Except it's not a woman being a man. In, like, in Milan. Gonzo is, like it's stated in the show title, a baby. Kids change their minds a lot. One day, he's a dog. Next day, a crustacean. Gonzo's a boy with a big imagination. This makes me so happy. This is Slumberjack. What's your location? This is Little Bo Sleep. My parents are walking me over now. Prepare for contact. In three, two, one. I was addicted to the Loud House in my tween years. I loved it so much, yet there was so much indoctrination. Surprisingly, I was still allowed to watch it, and it never got banned from my house. Anyways, as liberal as it is, the Loud House will always be part of my childhood. This is it. Time to make history. Hey, Clyde. Hi, Mr. McBride. Hi, Mr. McBride. Hi, Lincoln. Ready for your big night? You bet. Great. Just a couple things Clyde will need. Sleeping bag, feeds you pajamas, white noise machine, humidifier, dehumidifier, earplugs, inhaler, and allergy medication. Here are all the numbers where you can reach us if our cell phones fail. Restaurant, movie theater, coffee shop, gas station. Gay bar. In case we have to pee. But, you know, two dads can still be confusing for kids because they're like, why does he have two dads? Where's the mom? Clyde turned out fine in the cartoon world. Actually, fine is an understatement. He turned out to be, like, best student, perfect attendance, all A's, good, good person, all that. But I wonder how this would have played out in the real world. Two gay men in Georgia who adopted two boys have been arrested. Police say William and Zachary Zulick were sexually violating the boys and recording the vicious acts on camera, making child... American-born Mark Newton and his Queensland partner Peter Truong admitted to sexually abusing their adopted son from before he was two years old and allowing at least eight other men to do the same. A jury ruled that six adopted children were intentionally killed by their mothers, Jennifer and Sarah Hart, who, according to the jury, intentionally killed themselves. Um, now, how is it that the daughter of lesbian mothers has become a leading opponent of gay marriage? How does that work? Well, simply because I recognize that while my mother was a fantastic mother, and most of what I do well as a mother myself, I do because that's how she parented me, she can't be a father. Her partner, an incredible woman, both of these women have my heart, cannot be a father either. Children have a right to be in relationship with their mother and father whenever possible. And as a society, we shouldn't normalize a family structure that requires children to lose one or both parents to be in that household. And you know, 
He even turned out to be heterosexual. He actually has a crush on a girl. But, in real life, if your parents are being gay in the bedroom every night, and you're hearing it, you're overhearing it, you're pretending you're not, but you are, you think, you think you're gonna turn out straight? Now y'all are just so tired of Loud House, you didn't ask for it, now you just hate it. I know, it's just such a, it's like a watermelon hanging from your neck to watch it. I don't know why, I'm just gonna, you know, give you some more Loud House. Good idea. See you later, Sam. Okay, see ya! Oh, yay! Sam and Luna are lesbians. Please raise our ESG score and don't let us go bankrupt. Okay, so Sam looks like me and I kind of hate it. Anyway, Luna has always been a very compelling character. Her style, her interests, her friends, all of that. She, before this LGBTQIAPWTFBBQPP thing started, she was just a rocker and a tomboy and not bisexual or lesbian or sapphic or whatever they made her. Whatever. Companies gotta do what they gotta do to raise their ESG score. And the message. And don't get me started on the head cannons. Luna is a lesbian and they use he, they pronouns. How does that even work? And there's even sexuality head cannons for like the younger kids like Lisa, Lola, Lana, L L Lucy. And you know, they're saying that they're they're gay or trans or uh, like demigirls or cat gender, princess gender. One hour later. Rose quartz gender. And yes, I've seen it all. The Loud House fandom is gross. Pismit, you weren't trying to hide the fact that you have two dads, were you? Because that seems awesome to me. What? No! Having two dads is the best! So I think this one is called Ridley Jones or something, I don't know, it wasn't part of my childhood. But basically, they made a music video. And it could have just been about this little mummy girl who looks like she buys her clothes at Justice, I don't know how that works. You know, she just wants to be a normal kid sometimes. But then, they went and they add this. You wouldn't think a queen could tire of her own personal grape feeder. Then she said that she tires of her personal grape feeder. Is she trying to tell us something? Maybe they're all grape fed too, if you know what I mean. Sometimes there's something I would rather be than royalty. Just my two dads and me. Is this a cry for help, little girl? She has no mummy, literally. And with all the propaganda shoved down her throat, she'll probably never be anyone's mummy either. A baby bump. Are you the kind of person who leaves your baby in front of the TV watching the repetitive content farm YouTube videos? So there's this famous song sung for kids all around the world. Johnny, Johnny, yes, papa. Papa. Singular. And they even made that fit the agenda. Baby bum. Fit the dust. Uh, another nightmare about getting r Johnny, Johnny. Yes, oh wait, it's about to happen. Are you washed oh. yet? No, Babas. Shall we help you? Yes, Babas. Yay, yeah, you've done it, superstar. Oh yeah, there's my souvenir from Neverland Ranch. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Babas. Are you dressed yet? No, Babas. Shall we help you? Yes, Babas. Yay, yeah, you've done it, superstar. Hey, there's normal kids out there with normal families. Hi, I want to talk to you. Oh, no, 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 we're not done with you. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Babas. Have you tidied? No, Babas. Shall we help you? Yes, Babas. Yay, yeah, you've done it, superstar. <laughs> I 
need to put on a smile, otherwise they'll beat the shit out of me. I'm Penny Polar Bear. Is that? Oh no, that that can't be what I think it is. That animation style? Not Peppa Pig, no, 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 not Peppa Pig. Not Peppa Pig. That was my favorite show. It was my favorite show. Peppa the Pig went down the drain. That was my childhood. They just, they just took it away. Flushed it down the toilet. Seriously? Peppa Pig? Here's more context. Uh, they've introduced a new character named Penny Polar Bear. A cute and innocent character like most background characters in kids shows. In this episode I think they were all like talking about their families or whatever. And then she's like, okay, this is my mummy and this is my other mummy. It I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely Penny. And her moms are the first same-sex couple to appear in the internationally popular kids show. It's a show for kindergartners. Alright, there's only one thing here that bothers me in addition to indoctrination. Where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? I bet there's no salty or no butter or nothing. Just the plain noodles. By the way, is butter a carb? Not only they're gonna grow up to be rainbow, but also they're gonna be terrible cooks. Really, Larry, is this what you, George, and Klaus serve at those Illuminati dinner parties? Sauceless pasta? What the heck? You can vacation in Bohemian Grove, but you have to bring your own sauce and salt. Well, at least it's not the bugs yet. And believe it or not, Peppa has her own fandom of little space, don't look that up, teens that are lonely and think that their Melody and Karomi is fan children and use pacifiers while listening to pacify her because, you know, now Melanie's are all for trans rights, save Penny because she's in a world that's not for kids anymore. Shaggy and Scooby? <laughs> What? Velma is gay now? Velma is head over heels for this new found character called Coco. Yes kids, Scooby-Doo is gay now. I never watched much of Scooby-Doo as a kid, but from the little I watched and from what my parents told me, Velma was never like that. They just made her like this to be more woke because of some 56 year old autogynophile xenogenders seeing themselves in this lesbian relationship. Velma is completely different now. She used to be like Lisa Loud and now she's this. Jinkies. If you're leaving the premises, I need a safeguard, if you will. I'll do it! I'm crushing big time, Daphne! What do I do? What do I say? Be yourself. Oh. I'm sure that Coco made some brilliant observations. The cute one's right. Esteban, show them my brilliant observations. And she's gonna be black. Finally! Yay! It's the current year! Yay! It's woke! Be woke! Unknown caller. Spooky. Hello? Velma Dinkley speaking. Hello, Velma. Do you like solving but I'm actually much more three-dimensional than that. Who is this? That's the mystery, and solve it quick, because I'm in your house. A serial killer calling from inside my house? Yes, that's a classic, and that's my point. Why change anything when the classics all still work, right? Why blackwash her? We know that whitewashing isn't acceptable, so why is the opposite acceptable? Words from my good friend, Brittany Venti. Apparently, Scooby-Doo is no longer Scooby-Doo anymore. So not only are they not including Scooby-Doo in the cartoon Scooby-Doo, but also they have race swapped not one, but two of the characters. 
nobody has a problem with there being black characters. It's a problem when you take original characters and you completely change them. This isn't Scooby-Doo anymore. It doesn't even freaking include Scooby-Doo. Okay, I don't even care about Scooby-Doo that much. It's the sentiment that this is happening to so many shows that are coming out. And just because it's not happening to one that you like, oh, you just wait your turn. I am waiting on Netflix to take Inuyasha and do a live action version, completely neuter it, just like how every other show is being done nowadays. If Mindy wanted to create her own animation of black characters, nobody would have cared. There's a reason that everybody cares. I'm going to tell you guys why. It's not only are they taking something as we know it and completely changing it and ruining it and gutting it of what we know it as, completely changing the product so it's like, why would you like it? But also, another point of contention that I have not seen discussed yet. Why do we feel that it is appropriate to take a children's show and politicize it? How is that appropriate? This is supposed to be entertainment for children. You are taking the focus away from the show and bringing the focus into race and politicizing a children's show. That is what you're doing when you're doing that. That is not the avenue you should be using to send your political message. I don't know why, but somehow a children's show has to be political and it has to virtue signal to everyone. Like, who even likes this? Does anybody actually like it? Because I'm a black woman and I don't like this. I don't know how many times we have to say it, leave the kids alone, let the kids have their shows, stop taking it and, and neutering everything and politicizing everything. It is beyond frustrating. Don't be surprised when the entertainment industry just ends up being a money laundering business at this point because who's watching this? I'm not. Anyway, I teleported back to the kitchen. I'm going to go back to my business and make my food. When companies do this it feels like they're trying to say that like if they made a new black character an entirely new character that was black it wouldn't succeed maybe they're just trying to get rid of a certain demographic Ugh. but anyway that's all i have for you today remember boys be fruitful and multiply don't be fruity and kiss the guy sidekick panda says bye 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 woke cartoons.